Jonas Brothers are back. Oh, my gosh, how exciting. <laughs> Happiness uh, begins, I want to say it was almost 10 years ago to the day that you guys really? performed. Really? We planned it all. On our show, yeah. yeah. Specifically to come back here 10 years later. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what it's all about, the whole thing? No, I wish. I mean, this is, I mean, <laughs> a lot has happened since then. I mean, yeah, I mean, you, had, you, you did, you broke up. You had uh, solo uh, careers. Yep. Uh, you, Kevin, you had two kids. I know. It's insane. I mean, a lot. They're the best thing ever. They are. Yeah. It changed. It's the greatest it's... thing. I mean, do they, I mean, do they know who, who Dad is? Do you know who? They definitely know don't know who these know... guys are. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely don't know who that guy is. Do you guys um... know who these guys are? No. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I mean, in Nick, a real bad dream. Right what now. would you? Oh, gosh. What Anime would you? Characters, I think. What would you? <laughs> What would you say to yourself, Nick, if you had to talk to yourself back then? What would you, what would I you would say to yourself? I would tell myself to find some scissors and cut that hair. <laughs> I think so, it's a good look, man. Also, right. to, like, go in the sun. We're extremely pale. <laughs> yeah, you, almost, you look joke. very, yeah. yeah it's, that was during the twilight phase, so we're trying to fit in. Is it yeah. twilight? <laughs> uh, I, and, uh, Joe, like, can we even discuss this? Oh, yeah. yeah. I could put somebody's eye out with that hair right there. Yeah, what was that inspired by? Uh, flat irons, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, there's a band, Tokyo Hotel. Yeah. from Germany that I love and we met them recently again but I would kind of just thought the lead singer ha just had it all and his hair was so straight and spiky uh, and I was trying to emulate that I'm not sure why but yeah you did it you emulated it <laughs> I mean, it's, you, you absolutely nailed it uh, thank you uh, I'm so happy I love the new album congrats on the thank great you. reviews and the, thank you all the thank singles you. have been fantastic so far happiness begins uh, I, a very kind of personal album as well. I mean, some of the songs on here, uh, you wrote uh, Kevin Comeback. Yeah, uh, well, we wrote it together, but um, that song specifically, I think, meant a lot for in many different ways. You know, I think from the, from, to the fans, but as well from, like, traveling for the first time in a long time away from my family and the girls. Like, that was a big deal, obviously. And so... Do you, how old are your girls now? Uh, they're five and two. And so do, they don't know you as a Jonas brother? They do now. But um, it was, you know, touch and go there for a minute. Like, they didn't really know who that was and all of that stuff. But, like, they got to come to their first show the other day, which was amazing. No, really? I have a, I have a very cute clip of, of your daughter, uh, you talking to your daughter. Oh, about, yeah. About you being... Anyway, here's Kevin's uh, five-year-old daughter being very excited that her dad is a Jonas brother. Take a look at this. I'm Amina, and this is my dad. Should I say it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you <laughs> This is the, one of the Jonas Brothers. Uh, what? Who let him in this house? <laughs> Who let him in this house? Who let him in this house? So cute. I'm so proud. It's so awesome. And it's, um, she did tell her entire school that, you know, the Jonas Brothers are coming back before the Jonas Brothers were. No. Oh, yeah. She, her, well, her she teeth spoiled leak. everything? We she were trying to mole. keep it a secret for basically a year. We're making this documentary, we're making the album, and we're like, oh, we got this on lock. No one's going to tell. Kevin comes home and says, guys, Alina told her whole class. <laughs> so, she told yeah. the whole school, and it's Luckily, out. Luckily, those five-year-olds, tight-lipped. Yeah, oh, they, they kept the so secret for us. You gave me a little inside scoop, and I was like, all right, I'm just crossing my fingers. Oh, I, I did. Yeah, yeah. I know, but I appreciate that. I was just, I, I, what did you tell It could have been better. I told him that we were coming He back. told us the four of us were going to release an album together. Yeah. And, uh, wow! I never got the phone call. Oh, it's like sorry. you told me a little scoop. I told him that the band's came back. <laughs> yeah, that's a little scoop. It's a big yeah. scoop. Yeah, you trusted me. I though. forgot about that. But sorry. since then, but I also, I mean, you, you got married. I mean, I mean, you had, yes. Is it pressure writing songs about your your wives? And... No, it's the best. I mean, we we um, I think we looked a long time for the kind of inspiration that we we now have, whether it's kids uh, or you know f wives and, yeah. and fans. You know, this also this journey we went on together over the course of. A year and a half, two years of making the film, coming back together. It's all in there, but, um, you know, it's the best thing in the world, to be able to write a love letter to your wife in a musical form. And same with you. Uh... Yeah, it's incredible. Like, yeah, and you, I mean, Sophie, we, we love her as well, but yeah, you just... You, you said to me that you got married to her just so you can find Game of Thrones spoilers. Exactly. Yeah, and that's good for you. That's a good yeah. move. That's such now a good move. I'm just move. trying to figure out, like, if I could write a song for the next season and she'll tell me. Oh. Oh. Oops. Spoiler alert right there, guys. Uh, uh. Wait. Is there wait, another wait, season? What? He's joking. He's joking. Yeah, he's just joking. Guys, uh, uh. My heart stopped. <laughs> no, Everyone in the room was like, wait a second. Uh.
<laughs> Everyone's loving the, the new record, but uh, this is pretty funny. There's one person out there that is not a fan of the, this. Uh, someone's getting apparently oh, text oh, messages. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, to explain what's happening right now, this is your fault? I guess. Well, it's, who, so, it's all your fault. So, basically, I changed my number. Yeah. Uh, maybe seven, eight months ago. Some people got my number. They were calling me all the time. So, finally, I just changed it. Um, but I forgot to text a few people. So, when the album came out, uh, my brothers and I were on group text together, but it was the old number. So, a few people that I had forgotten to text the new number to. So, this person somewhere in the world is getting text messages congratulating them on a new album from probably a lot of numbers. A lot of people. And the last one that we saw in one of these group texts was uh, really hostile. So, you should probably <laughs> this show. This is the last one here. It says, uh, Congrats, dudes. Album is sick. Excited to watch you go. This person says, Stop texting this number. You have the wrong number. If you continue to text this number, I'm going to give it to the police. <laughs> like, so I just, I love the idea that there's someone in the country so mad that lots of people are trolling them yeah. that they have a new album out. Yeah. I like, it, would love to see how that conversation would go with the police. People are out here congratulating me. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening up. in this world? Uh, congrats on the documentary, by the way, as Thank well. You. I did not know about that, and it's uh, fantastic. <laughs> I, uh, I loved it, and uh, I, I just didn't really know as much of the history as I thought about you, you guys. Was that why you wanted to make one? Yeah, that was one of the reasons. I think, you know, the whole idea initially was just a documentary, and then from there, it kind of evolved to wanting to do this, do this again, and it's all there in the doc. But it also shows you know, our childhood, our upbringing, you know, both in church and then in to performing together and all that. Uh, and it's a, a pretty in-depth look and, you know, has been just phenomenal to see people writing and uh, messaging us just about, you know, connecting family again. And that was the intention, really, more than anything, uh, was just to try to create something that hopefully, you know, a brother or sister calls their family and says, listen, I know it's been a while, but I love you and we can get through this. You know, that was kind of our story. So. Yeah, it's 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 well. It's, you also see how much you live together, and I mean, you're doing all these malls, and I, I didn't New Jersey, and like all this stuff. Oh you go, gosh. oh, you, you, people. Jones Brothers not. just didn't just come out and just do arenas. No, we'd I be mean, at a mall at like 7 a.m. And there's the this thing in. called mall walkers, that. <laughs> oh yeah. You go to the mall and you do laps around the mall, and it's like, I guess most mostly when it's like, snowing outside and it's pretty difficult to go for your morning walk, and we're performing at 7 a.m. in a in a mall. Where these people are covering their, you know, covering their ears or like <laughs> booing. It's like <laughs> that's how we got started. And at one, you, you, at one point, you weren't going to be named Jonas Brothers, is that? No, there were some other names. Yeah, before. we had a few. Actually, Jonas Brothers came up because in our first show ever, Joe just got up on stage and said, "We're the Jonas Brothers." But before that, it was uh, Sons of Jonas. J three. J three, which is, was never right. Run, Run Jonas. Jonas, Run. Jonas, <laughs> Jonas, Jonas. Uh, oh, that, Jonas, Jonas, Jonas is I not like, bad. I like that yeah. one. I like that one. <laughs> See, Jimmy Jonas. Jim, Jim, Jimmy Jonas. No, that was... Ah, oh, man, I got so excited. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, I didn't but, make the cut. Uh, there's one uh, scene in the documentary. Uh, it's you guys playing a drinking game. Yes. Uh, and basically, through that drinking game, you're kind of... Uh, it's almost like therapy. Mm, almost. Our version. <laughs> it kind of is. Tequila-infused therapy. But you yes. were kind of asking each other, like, yeah, why did the band break up? And Oh, this is the heaviest clip in the whole doc. You're, yeah. It, isn't that yeah. weird that it's the it's The one that you game. chose to show? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, well, I loved it because I think it is really personal. And it, yeah. you go, wow, that was, like, it was fascinating. The whole thing is fascinating. If you weren't a fan of the Jonas Brothers before, watch this documentary, and you'd be like, wow. Uh, I really, hats off to you guys. I want to show everyone a clip from the documentary. Here's Nick, Joe, and Kevin in Chasing Happiness. Take a look at this. This game I played a few days ago. It's fun because it's questions we either have to answer ourselves or if it might be directed towards everybody else. The more we drink, the more the questions are going to be answered. So, ready? One, two, three. Boom. It's yeah. on Nick. Bullet. Um, biggest regret in regards to the brothers. Season two of Jonas. It's a big regret. We shouldn't have done that. It really stunted our growth, you know? I feel like it was just a bad move. Yeah. Like, it was just not the time, and... And it, it, literally, we, we couldn't evolve because of it. Is that the same thing? Yeah. And that's real. Very real. It gets... It's more intense from there in that particular scene. But that was a real moment for all of us. We sat and watched an early cut, 
And um, it was a choice, you know, to make with the director and the other producers of the movie to say, do we want to tell the fluff story of our life and journey and what brought us back, or get into, you know, the, the heavy stuff and, and lay the it out? Stuff, yeah. um, and, you know, specifically with that clip, Disney was a great chapter in our lives, but uh, it, at a certain point, did make things hard to grow, you know? And, and when you're shaving your face twice a day because they so you can't have a five o'clock shadow or play <laughs> like, your 15 no, you're year olds. You're yeah. 10 years old. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Forever. Yeah, uh, exactly. It gets tough, but I'm, I'm glad we, we made this movie and hopefully it it's fantastic. brings people together. Thanks, it's so. great. Uh, the Jonas Brothers, everybody, their happiness begins is out now. The new album. And the documentary Chasing Happiness is on Amazon Prime Video. Uh, uh-huh. on and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.